Muchachos y muchachas. Okay, so by now you may have already heard the news. Uh, the supposed magistrate that people are suspecting signed the order for Trump's raid uh, earlier this week is probably Bruce Reinhardt. And if you have kept up with the news, Bruce Reinhardt is actually a, a, he was a former U.S. attorney who stepped away from his position and then immediately represented Jeffy's employees. Now, I didn't want to just do another video on some empty commentary on this news itself because right now it's just a suspicion that this is the, the magistrate that signed off the order. I was more so wanted to focus in on who he represented back in 2008. Now, there are some notable names that were connected to this guy who he represented, one of them being Sarah Kellen, which I believe she be she deserves her own video. So just hold on to your pants for that. Hold on to your butt. Click the subscribe button. Click the bell and also share this with your friends and family. Okay. But today I wanted to focus in on another named person who is Nadia Marchinkova. Now, Nadia Marchinkova, I also have some mixed emotions about because um, there are some uh, mixed testimonies about her. Some say that she was actually a victim and some say that she was a helper in all of this. So let's get into this. Stay right there. We're going to go through it. Okay, so Bruce Reinhardt, the National Post did a really great job the next day after the raid to kind of suspect and give some, you know, um, just a, some context clues as to who might have signed this order for the three-letter agency to raid Trump. And uh, they suspect that it is Bruce Reinhardt, who stepped away from his U.S. attorney position back in 2008 to represent Jeffy's employees. Now, a little bit about Bruce Reinhardt. So he actually did donate to former President Barack Obama's um, campaign. And he also donated very heavily to establishment opponents of Donald Trump back in 2016. And as you guys know, all of these corrupt politicians and you know people from the swamp, they want to strip us of our rights. And that brings me to thank the sponsor of this video, Support the Second. Now, as you guys know, like I mentioned, they're trying to strip us of our ever living rights, but especially the Second Amendment. And this company right here, they are bringing awareness to this with this collector's coin, which usually retails for about $24.95. You guys can get it at supportthesecond.com for free. On the front of the coin, it says Second Amendment is my gun permit. And on the back, the Second Amendment U.S. Constitution. You guys can get it at supportthesecond.com. So anyway, he donated to Barack Obama, establishment op opponents to D DJT. You guys have to just wonder why are they so against DJT. Why? Why? You know, I know a lot of people implicated that you know, oh, he's part of it and things like that, but it's like, do you, don't you think that's exhausting that he would be part of it and yet they're going against him and they're, they're you know, literally impending on his, his rights as a private citizen now by raiding his, his Mar-a-Lago. Anyway, uh, I find that interesting. I think that this is uh, quite a turn of events for us to really assess who's out there uh, representing us in leadership and who is in charge of security and stuff like that, right? And it's mentioned here in the Miami Herald, very now famous article that actually resurfaced all of this information back to the public's eye about, you know, Jeffy and his universe, his realm, the people that helped him. It states here, Jeffy, who also hired Bruce Reinhardt, then assistant U.S. attorney in South Florida, now a U.S. magistrate. He left the U.S. attorney's office in January of 2008 and went to work representing Jeffy's employees in January 2nd of 2008 court record show. In 2011, Reinhardt was named in the Crime Victims Right Act lawsuit, which accused him of violating Justice Department policies by switching sides, implying that he leveraged inside information about Jeffy's investigation to curry favor with Jeffy. 
Reinhardt is a sworn declaration attached, uh, in a sworn declaration attached to the CVRA case, denied the allegation saying he did not participate in Jeffy's criminal case and never learned anything confidential, non-public information about the Jeffy matter. Sure, Bruce. I'm sure. U.S. Attorney's Office has since disputed that, saying in court papers that he did possess confidential information about the case. Contacted for this story, Reinhardt in an email said that he never represented Jeffy, only Jeffy's pilots, his scheduler, Sarah Kellen, and Nadia Marchinkova, described by some victims as, a you know, S slave. Reinhardt also pointed out that uh, and a complaint filed against him by victim's lawyer, Paul Castle, was dismissed by the Justice Department. Well, gee, I wonder how that happened, Bruce Reinhardt. You're saying that you didn't leverage your position or your insider information and knowledge to help out this case, but yet somehow, you know, very conveniently, Paul Castle's case was dismissed. Interesting stuff and interesting timing. So pivoting to Nadia Marchinkova, so this is an interesting character and she has an interesting company that I'm going to mention. Nadia Marchinkova, she first appeared in court documents in Florida about a decade ago. She was 22 at the time and she had been in the USA since 2000. She was one of the most prominent immigrants in the circle of Jeffy. Now, Wired.com actually did a piece on Nadia and they described that despite girls being lured by, you know, uh, Galen and Jeffy through various methods and places, Nadia Marchinkova actually belonged to a smaller group who came to the Jeffy syndicate. And I even questioned that part, like what smaller group did she come from? Now, victims described Nadia as uh, Epstein's live-in S, you know what, in a Florida court filing. But then there's this other side that says that several girls told the Palm Beach police that later in the aughts, Marchinko pressured them to have, you know what, with both her and Jeffy. Now, I'm just gonna say this, okay, because I think that this needs to be prevised, that there are victims out there, and, um, you know, I, I have talked to some that have been in previous lives like that, where they are absolutely manipulated to become this form of recruiter, okay? But that does not mean that they are not victims themselves. Now, I know that, you know, uh, Virginia Roberts Jufre, for instance, she actually uh, was alluded to be one of these type of people, but that does not subtract from the fact that she also was manipulated as a young teen girl to do this and to, you know, be pressured by, I mean, the upper echelons of these people, these circles to recruit and bring girls in. It's alleged that the Jeffy syndicate was like a pyramid scheme of sorts where they would recruit and recruit and recruit, you know, going down the line in order to bring them back to Jeffy. Just wanted to make that clear. Now, I'm not saying that I know this about Nadia. Um, I don't know the, the absolute transparency to her story as she is a sort of mysterious character as one of Jeffy's employees. But I will say that being in the anti-human T-wording industry, I know that that does exist, that a lot of manipulation does, you know, swindle these, these girls and women into being some form of recruiter. But that's not to say that some other things about this lady ain't questionable. And I'm gonna get to that as well. Now, as we know, Jeffy utilized his aircrafts to uh, transport people of both the elite and uh, what is said to be by witnesses of youngins, the muchachitas, you right? And uh, th there is one tarmac employee that reported that, that he saw him get out of a helicopter with, yeah, the, the young ones, right? Now, bringing it back to Nadia Marchinkova, it says that Marchinko's flights were somewhat harder to pin down as, um, you know, the girls in the Jeffy circle were 
often recorded by first names or initials. Now, the name Nadia appears in 2003 as Nadia Marchinkova and appears on a manifest for flight out to Palm Beach in 2004. Then the initials NM start to show up in nearly every manifest for both one of the Gulf Streams, which is one of the other aircrafts that Jeffy owned, and the uh, LE Boeing 727. You guys can put that together the l-o-l-i-t-a you know what uh while nm was generically noted zipping among airports in palm beach florida monterey california and new york she also visited columbus ohio newfoundland and tercia island in azores now columbus ohio just for you guys as a side note, that's where Les Wexner was. That's where he, you know, had some of the, you know what I mean? Like that's his area, okay? Just wanted to make that note. It is notable that Nadia Marchinko was one of four named in alleged accomplices of Jeffy who were given immunity back in 2008 uh, for his prosecution. It also may be suspected that Jeffy paid two people whom investigators identified as co-conspirators hundreds of thousands of dollars in 2008, seemingly to keep them quiet. The cash recipients weren't named, but it isn't unreasonable to maybe think that maybe she was one of them, but we just don't know that. And we really leave that as a mystery because she wasn't the only co-conspirator. There was also Sarah Kellen, a very you know infamous name by now, Leslie Groff, as well as Adriana Ross, um, who was also they all were alleged to you know coordinate and plan out these sessions with Jeffy. I also want to repeat that victims did testify that Nadia Marchinkova was central to Jeffy's recruitment st strategies. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this was kind of like a pyramid scheme of sorts where, you know, you would have your higher ups and then they would recruit down in order to obtain, um, you know, the resources for Jeffy and what he wanted to do in the sessions. What I want to point out in a pivot kind of just alluding to this is that Nadia actually owns a company by the name of Avaloop. Now Avaloop is a, it's, it's a weird concept. I should also mention that she is actually a pilot in which gives her leniency to the industry that she runs her business in. She's actually the CEO of Avaloop and it's sort of like an aviation branding business and it does feature shots of her on Gulf Streams uh, on her website. And I'll tell you why this is questionable. Uh, her you know, office was allegedly in a building that was not far away from Jeffy's mansion in new york what's additionally curious is that jeffy's brother mark epp you know what uh owns a majority stake in the building that she allegedly ran her office or lived in which was once again close to the jeffy quarters or his mansion and it included the unit marchinko actually might have conducted business in and some more sauce to add on that Avaloop was registered at that building that Mark E, you know, Jeffy's brother, owns a majority stake in. And it was registered there for at least seven years. And as recently as in 2015, Sarah Kellen, the alleged other co-conspirator, actually took deliveries at the same building. So... Like I mentioned, once again, it, her story gives me mixed emotions because if she was indeed taken at 15 and forced into the syndicate somehow uh, down the line, of course, that offers some sort of, you know, em empathy in, in some respect. But if she owns Avaloop, I wanted to show you guys these promotional materials. Uh, first, these are some videos that they made in promotion of this website and the things that they did, which to me is still a little bit questionable. Uh, these are basically some uh, young women. I 
don't know their ages. I can't verify, but they basically promote uh, some of these branding strategies. Take a look. Welcome to Aviloop, your collective buying website for anything aviation. We offer deals on flight lessons, pilot accessories, fuel, FBO services, charter flights, and even small aircraft. Our deals are usually 50 to 90% off. That means whether you want to learn to fly, charter an airplane, or to see more girls like me, Aviloop can help. You can even vote for your favorite deal attendant and win special prizes. Our membership is completely free. Our deals are unbeatable. And there's no catch. So what are you waiting for, Captain? Subscribe to our newsletter and get in the loop. Hi, welcome to Cole's Flight School on Avaloop.com. My name is Ashley and I'm your deal attendant. Anyone who claims that humans were not meant to fly never experienced the thrill of their own successful landing. If you've been bitten by the flying bug and you want to add multi-engine to your pretty green license, this is your opportunity to do it at 50% off. You don't see that very often. Today's deal includes all the necessary ground school and 15 hours of multi-engine flight training. Get ready to fly big boy airplanes. To purchase this deal, you must hold at least a private pilot license and a current medical certificate. Don't miss out and click on that big blue button. You know you want to. Hi, welcome to Classic Flight Training on Aviloop.com. My name is Claire and I'm your deal attendant. With today's deal, you can channel your inner Top Gun, climb into the cockpit, and learn to fly an airplane. You can even practice saying, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. The flight lasts one hour under the supervision of an FAA instructor, begins with a ground school lesson, and ends with a new perspective on what you were born to do. And remember Top Gun? Clearly, your attractiveness increases with every flight under your belt. Just remember to wear your aviators and pick a cool call sign, Captain. Welcome to Abby Loop, your collective buying website for anything aviation. We offer deals on flight lessons, pilot accessories, fuel, FBO services, charter flights, and even small aircraft. Our deals are usually 50 to 90% off. That means whether you want to learn to fly, charter an airplane, or just see more girls like me, Abby Loop can help. You can even vote for your favorite deal attendant and win special prizes. Our membership is completely free, our deals are unbeatable, and there is no catch. So what are you waiting for, Captain? Subscribe to our newsletter and get in the loop. Okay, so taken into account that there is a mixed illusion about Nadia, whether or not she was taken at 15 and forced into the syndicate, I think that that in itself deserves some empathy. However, what I have to say about this Avaloop is still a little bit questionable. Now, I looked into their website, and initially, when you look at their website, you know, it does look to appear of what it describes, some sort of branding strategy for aviation industries. You know, it says here projects and services, create marketing content for aviation businesses, develop social media marketing strategies, you know, a, a lot of different things. And you can see her right there, um, Nadia Marchinko, you know, as the CEO. Uh, so the website is still up, but what I find curious is the uh, archived pieces of this website, as you guys can see here, and I'm just going to zoom in so you guys can see the URL before I proceed. It says avaloop.com slash New York slash page slash how it works. Okay. So as we go down, you can see that, you know, there are some infographics here and we're just going to go through some of these where it says, Get Avaloop email featuring awesome aviation deals priced at 50 to 90% off. Find deals or flight lessons, aviation, I'm sorry, aviation merchandise, FBO services, charter flights, or even airplanes. Let our deal attendants tell you more. And then you see the next infographic where it says buy a deal and get a unique link to share with your friends. Earn $5 for every friend that buys. Okay. The, the infographics for itself, um, I don't know. They just seem a bit ominous. I don't know if that makes any sense. I don't know if you can draw the same emotions from it, but you know, you're kind of seeing like this, Hey guys, like come get this deal from AV, AV lube. Okay. So this is where it starts getting a little bit more questionable. 
The next infographic you can see right here on the left, it says when the group limits is reached, the deal takes off and we send you your voucher. Think of this as VR, take your voucher to the merchant, enjoy your awesome deal. Okay, and then you see a group of pilots kind of like smiling. Okay, then there's this part right here. Vote, vote, vote. Chat with other AV loopers about your experience or vote for your favorite deal attendant for the chance to win a one-on-one -on -one video interview with her. There is a new one with most deals to keep, so keep coming back. Wait, there is a new one with most deals, so keep coming back. I don't know what that means. You guys see this part right here? I don't know what that means. There, there is a new one with most deals, so keep coming back. I don't know, but you see, you know, that the, the it alludes to beautiful young ladies. Uh, and I don't think that these are flight attendants or maybe they are. But, you know, you guys saw the promo videos. You guys can let me know what you think about that. And then there's this page right here. I'll zoom in on the uh, URL so you guys can see the archive page. It says avaloop.com slash New York slash deals slash attendance, where it says meet our deal attendants vote win chat you never know it says why vote every week we feature an interview with the most popular deal attendant one of you will win a one-on-one -on -one video chat with our deal attendant remember these girls are not just pretty faces you will be talking to real successful fashion models with exciting backgrounds many are big aviation fans so you will have a lot to talk about you never know Anyone can like and tweet, but only members can vote. Sign up here. Limit one vote per day. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? So that's where I'm a bit conflicted because while I can empathize with the story that she was taken and she was formed in, you know, forced into this jeffy syndicate somewhere down the line um but then also that victims are testifying that she had a big part in you know enabling and scheduling and you know recruiting and stuff like this but then when you see these things in her archived website you know you you can only assess by what you see and to me that don't look right right so guys i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comment section below did you guys know this character in the jeffy universe right do does this does this send a chill down your spine because it definitely does to me this is who bruce reinhardt actually represented back in 2008 when he left his position as u.s attorney um in south florida uh yeah so it's important to know so just to elaborate a little bit more on bruce reinhardt and who he represented what he he stepped away from an entire like you know position position career right to represent his employees jeffy's employees so let me know you guys uh, what you think in the comment section below i will catch you guys in the next video